Um, our 777 fleet have been laid up for almost the last two years and now we've reached the, the really momentous occasion whereby we're able to bring back our first aircraft which is OKQ. Um, now these aircraft don't bring themselves back uh, and they certainly take a lot of time and effort and so what you're seeing behind me is really the culmination of an enormous amount of engineering as well as maintenance activity over the last couple of months. Um, and also, there's lots and lots of people that are really looking forward to seeing this aircraft um, basically take to the skies again. There's a sense of this is us coming back. So um, whenever I do talk to the teams that have been part of the reanimation process, whether it's the engineering teams, whether it's the maintenance teams, um, there is a real sense of positivity and a real energy that's coming from the 777 going back into the sky. So typically when an aircraft's been on the ground as long as OKQ has, an airline will conduct an operational flight check to reanimate the aeroplane. That's what we're going to be doing today. Two pilots and a systems engineer who are qualified to conduct this flight will be taking the aircraft up for a little under two hours Well, they'll be thoroughly checking a number of systems to make sure they're all working optimally. Uh, and we do that uh, to ensure that the aircraft is completely airworthy of course and then also customer worthy uh, for when our customers come back on board the aircraft later, uh, later in the year. What the aircraft will be doing in actual fact uh, when it does go back into service is uh, conducting freight operations, particularly between Australia, New Zealand and uh, Los Angeles, North America. Uh, and this is important because a big part of the airline's business at the moment uh, is um, conducting freight operations and so OKQ is going to be able to add to that capacity and also enable us to do some work that we need to do on the remainder of the fleet who have been working very, very hard uh, over the last couple of years.